So here's a question that should get you thinking. What will the world look like 10 years from now? It's so hard to predict. Anybody remember Y2K 10 years ago? It didn't work out so well. Yeah, our John Donvan took a trip back to the future. Oh, look what's out on the newsstands, the brand new popular science, the where are we heading issue, predictions 2010, ah, tomorrow, oh, the future. Remember, back in the days when lookers ahead imagined that we'd all be swishing about in shiny suits by now, or winging around in flying cars, or standing up in front of round screens, carrying on video chats across the globe. Nice featuring me. Round screens, standing up to talk, what were they thinking? All right, they got the video chat across the globe part right, he said, speaking on his cell phone camera. And they got some other stuff right, too. And that's the thing. You can travel YouTube nowadays and see what profits from them days predicted for these days. And you can choose to mock the whole thing for all they got wrong. Because in fashion, the pretzel head look never really took off. And in food preparation, is anyone really cooking steaks in the living room? And in the hospital of the future, this, seen as progress back then, could get you arrested right now. Plastic dishes, of course. No, we are not living in homes where everything is made of plastic. But wait, plastic dishes? Yes, we're using those. And if you go back to that funky fashion movie from the 30s and look at the predicted men's fashion, it's a weird look that never happened, but... He'll be fitted with a telephone, a radio... The telephone? The radio? They were predicting the mobile phone, just not our mobile phone. And this 1967 movie had a dad paying bills by keyboard and a mom shopping by remote TV camera that scanned merchandise in a store. No, it's not the way we do it, but e-commerce foreseen 42 years ago the vision was perfect just some of the details were wrong which leads to good advice for profits of the future from veteran trend spotter marion salzman the number one lesson probably is don't get very specific by feeling obliged to go very specific you start to run the risk of it's not really a prediction you're trying to be very directional some directions in which popular science says we're heading now how about a world in which we're all driving Chinese cars because China is getting ahead of everybody in battery technology? So the received wisdom is basically wherever the battery is built, the car will be built there as well. Or how about a world in which we all decide to eat less because research suggests that lower calories might mean longer life? I think the irony of it is that if you sort of look into French portions from the 80s and how we used to make fun of tiny portions in European restaurants, you know, that's the kind of thing that we're really looking at. There is lots more in this issue, and of course, popular science could be wrong, but does that really matter? To not try to predict the future is to just totally miss out on the fun. Or the fun of the past, because you see that guy paying the bills in 1967? Did this actor know that later in life, he would become a famous game show host? It is true. This guy and this guy are both Wink Martindale. Funny how things turn out. The future? I'll know more when we get there. So fun to look back. I know. This forward. cell phone thing is great. Yeah. Yeah. They got they it knew. right. They got it right.